So as I'm out in the lawn doing my daily update of the Morganite, I see these little light green blades of grass popping up through the yard. And I'm thinking to myself, oh my gosh, I got more crabgrass, but I just put tenacity down like four weeks ago. Is it running out? I do a little more research. I'm looking at the bag of the Scott seed. I'm like, is this a different type of grass that grows different than everything else? And then I realize it's a freaking weed. I have the dreaded nuts edge. Oh, and then walking around the lawn, I'm seeing like orange spots in my yard. I got some disease. I got some rust. That's the thing about this. You're doing your lawn. You want to be the best lawn on the block. And then you start seeing these little things that hinder the performance of everything. Okay, we got to prevent this. We got to stop this from happening. We still need to have the best yard in the block. So, we're going to head to the store right now. It is raining. We're going to see some products. Try to do some preventative maintenance in the rain. Let's get it. So we got a bunch of products to use and put down. This is going to be awesome. I love going to the hardware store, like you know. I love getting this stuff, especially for pre preventative maintenance type things. As you're going along with this lawn journey, you're gonna start noticing that, man, there are a lot of products out there and you're starting to notice these different things that normally you would just let go and be like, oh yeah, we'll fix it later. But now it's like, yo, we gotta fix it now. <laughs> like straight up. Read all the things. I mean, I, I, was, I was reading, I was in there forever just reading. That's the best thing you can do is read the directions and make sure you do some research online as well. The Nutsedge, I went with the Ortho. There was nothing else comparable in the store. That was the only thing that pretty much said Nutsedge on it. Then we got the fungus. So I had the spray for the spot treatment. Well, it's fall. So as I'm looking around, okay, my favorite brand, Scott's. Oh, hello, a fall winterizer and weed preventer. That's what we're doing for this episode. It's raining. I want this rain to go away, so I'm gonna apply all this product. Let's go home. See you in a bit. What is up, my dudes? This is Yardbra, and you are tuning in to another episode of My Lawn. So a lot of things are happening right now. I have the dreaded nuts edge. I also have a little bit of a rust problem, so a little disease, a little fungus action. And I bought a bunch of products. As you can see, we went to the store again and bought a ton of things. The only downfall of this is you cannot put down weed killers the same time you are trying to kill fungus. If you apply all the um, fungicides, fungicides to the lawn at the same time you're doing herbicides, it's never a good thing. You're just gonna cancel out the weed killer from the fungicide, so we gotta do one thing at a time. And I'm thinking to myself, let's just kill the weeds first and then hope the fungus doesn't spread. So again, I'm learning just like you guys. So this is just me documenting what I'm doing right now. Just like I did before, there's always problems that arise with your yard, but to keep you being the best looking yard on the block, you gotta do these little things. You gotta keep maintaining, you gotta keep up, you gotta look at different diseases if your yard has a disease. If, if something's going on, you gotta take care of it, you gotta prevent, or you gotta cure. So that's what we're doing. Let's, let's get it done. So here's the deal. I am gonna spot treat the fungus. That way it's not the entire yard that I'm laying down this fungicide on. I did get a bag of the fungicide 
and it is going to be laid down after I do the weed killer. So weed killer first, wait a couple days, and then I'm gonna put down the fungicide just to prevent more on the main lawn. Now, another thing I did as well, it was raining yesterday, so I cleaned all of my tools. I went through and pressure washed and used dish soap on all of the tools that I've been using just to make sure that once I cut this lawn today, that it is not going to spread across the main lawn, the other sidewalks, you know, strips, and just preventative maintenance, you know what I mean? So I just don't want this stuff to spread too much. I know it's a common thing, especially after the summer during the fall, this fungus can just start appearing just because it's a lot more wet. And at the same time, I got this nut sedge, nut, nut sedge problem and it's because nut sedge loves just wet and damp and they just come up so you know i probably had nut sedge already i just you know as as you're learning you're now identifying different types of grasses different types of weeds so you can see oh yeah that's definitely something bad like i cut the lawn for the malorganite video which i'm going to update here pretty soon i cut the lawn five days later you got these little things sprouting up taller than everyone else so that is the key it's like figuring out what's happening in your lawn get on top of it and that's what we're going to do today ortho has this awesome product that is specifically for nut sedge and we're going to lay this stuff down i've been researching a ton of what people are doing with this and they're seeing results in four days so the lawn is getting really tall. I don't want it to just grow for another four days. What we're gonna do is we're gonna lay down this ortho product in the morning. We're gonna wait a couple hours and then we are gonna let it dry. After it dries, we are gonna get to mowing. It is a spray, so you attach it to your hose and you spray it down. We're gonna do one, just one pass per section on the main lawn, the two sidewalk strips, we're gonna wait a couple hours and then we are gonna let it dry because it's Sunday day, thank God. And then after it dries, we are gonna get to mowing. And then after we mow, we're gonna put down the other product we got, which is the Scott's Winterizer Weed Killer Mick Fall Mix. A couple days after we see the nuts that are starting to die, turn brown, the, the lawn is thriving because this uh, the NPK rating on the Scott's is very high which is great, great for nitrogen. It's just gonna boost a bunch of nitrogen. It's gonna get really green. The growth's gonna be there. The nut sedge hopefully will be gone. And then we can put down the fungicide, which will help with preventing it from spreading and even just preventing it in general. So that was a lot. Yes, I know, a lot of things are going on but let's get to it. Man, it's been a nice day. I mean, it is just sunny. I had time to go out and drive and enjoy the weather a little bit. Uh, it is, it is looking good. I'm just waiting. The grass is definitely dry now, so I'm gonna just start mowing here in a second. Uh, it's gonna be such an awesome mow. I've waited five long days to mow and this is gonna be awesome. So here is me mowing and enjoying the mow. As you can see now, I am actually mowing diagonal lines. I like to switch it up, that way the dirt doesn't get too used to a certain pattern. Now, me personally, I love the diagonal look on this lawn. It is, it, it is just a cleaner look for me. I do like the just the vertical lines as well. The waves are also awesome, but the diagonal, once I figured out the right spot to do the diagonal lines, I uh, fell in love with that. So this is me doing diagonal lines.
I am losing light, so I am not going to do the diagonal lines on the sidewalks. I'm just going to go straight up, horizontal lines, long lines for the sidewalk. We'll get the diagonal the next time around. So for now, we're just going to do the horizontal on the sidewalk. The fence line side strips are definitely coming in along nicely. So we are watering three times a day on those guys and it is looking fantastic. The back, I replanted some Scott's Sun and Shade Mix and it is looking fantastic as well. So there's new little grass seeds popping up. The Kentucky Blue is popping through already. Now the little guys for the perennial rye and the sun and shade mix is popping through. The old grass is thick. It's gonna be awesome looking. So I'll update you on that as well. I'm just gonna give you a little teaser vid. That's all you get. But we'll do another video for that one very soon. Well, that was very, very satisfying. The Malorganite after five days has just made this a deeper green. Now I do shoot my footage just neutral flat straight from the iphone I, I legit rock an iphone to shoot my footage so it's just raw footage from the iphone i don't oversaturate things i'm not color correcting what you see is what you would see from an iphone camera yes it is uh, it is deeper like you can tell this is a lot deeper green the growth it's getting thicker Malorganite to the rescue. It is time to lay down the Scott's Turf Builder Winter Guard Fall Weed and Feed. Yes, preventing the weeds, killing some weeds. I'm seeing a little guy, some little weed guys, you know, creeping up a little bit. Oh, we gonna prevent that. So Scott's is a brand I trust. We're gonna use Scott's. Now the NPK rating on this guy is 2806. The bag states it covers 5,000 square feet. So 450 main lawn, 150 sidewalk, 150 sidewalk, 125. Look at about, about 1,000 square feet of products. We're gonna do a fifth of the bag in our Wiz spreader. Now it does state you should be applying this during dew or if it's wet. So we are going to water first after the mow, a little bit of water, and then we're gonna lay this stuff down. It is getting dark. But again, I'm enjoying this. I love the mow. It looks fantastic. Oh, it looks so good. But we're gonna water it and then we're gonna lay it down and then we're gonna enjoy the rest of the night. All right, my dudes, that was a lot to cover. And it's literally just preventative maintenance and just, you know, maintaining your lawn. So I'm gonna do these kind of videos as well. Like every now and then, especially when it's raining, there's not much to do. And then you see some stuff creep up. Hey, you gotta you got take care of it. So. Thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate you guys. The channel is growing a little bit <laughs> day by day. So I really appreciate that. I don't care if I have, you know, a thousand subscribers or 550 subscribers. I'm gonna bust out awesome content for you guys the best I can. Even if it's just for 50 people, those 50 people are gonna get my 110%. So again, thank you so much for the love. Appreciate you guys. I will see you soon. Take it easy.